Steve, what's your uh, assessment of how Steph looked tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, he, Steph looked really good in the second half. He found his legs uh, underneath him. Had to feel the game out for a while. And um, obviously, you know, coming off that kind of absence, it's going to take some time. But um, I thought he, he found something in the second half. You guys really kind of cranked it up defensively in the fourth, pressed them, and got back in the game. And I know obviously you can't do that all game, but why do you think it took so long to get any type of defensive juice out there? Yeah, I mean, I, I take responsibility for that. I clearly didn't have our guys ready, and that's that's my fault. Um, I've got to do a better job of, you know, giving them the – the, the slap in the face that, that Phoenix gave us, you know, in the first quarter. Like, you, you, these games are always – they always go like this. A, a team's got a bunch of starters out. And then all the guys who normally don't play much, they can't wait to get out there. A guy like Saric comes out and, and just, you know, uh, kicks our butt. And these are all – guys, you know, are all great players. This is, this is the league. Uh, there's no – easy days in the league. So I think the combination of, uh, you know, that dynamic and then, um, you know, tr us getting some guys back and trying to find our, our rhythm, uh, it, it really uh, got us off to a slow start. But I, I did like the fact that we competed in that fourth fought like crazy because, Sometimes in this league, you forget how hard it is to win a game. It's really hard to win an NBA game. And the, the difference between winning and losing is, is like that. It's, you know, one team has the edge, Phoenix did. Um, and they set a tone right away. It's, that's all it takes. You know, they, they made 14 threes and got 20 offensive rebounds because they were the more aggressive team, the more confident team. So that, uh, that fourth quarter was... The uh, the team that I have come to know and and love and recognize, but um, we have to show that in the first quarter, not in the fourth quarter. And it's it's my job to to try to get that out of them. You mentioned Steph getting his legs back there uh, in the second half. I know Jordan hasn't missed games like Steph, but did you sense him getting his something going? You know, certain end of end of the third and the end of the fourth quarter. Clearly, the, the buckets happened too, but. Did you him yeah, Jordan was great game. in the second half. Uh, the first half, we uh, we didn't have anything going, uh, but I didn't like the level of competition. I didn't like the the the, the looks on our faces, the body language. Um, I felt like we were all sort of uh, feeling sorry for ourselves in that first half. And the second half, uh, we just started playing and started competing and got out of our own heads committed to each other, committed to the game. And I know it was too little too late, but that's what it takes. And uh, we've had this weird stretch with, uh, with no wigs, no Steph. Um, we've, we've hung in there. Our, our, our bench guys have done a great job of, of hanging in there. But we're, you know, we're not a team that's in rhythm right now as a result. And part of finding a rhythm is just competing. And um, we didn't do that for such a long stretch in the game that to come back and win. You go with Iguodala to start the fourth. I know he got the stint in the first quarter. What, what, what was the reasoning there? And I imagine he gave you exactly what you were looking for there. Yeah, I mean, Andre is, uh, you know, he's so good defensively, so good moving the ball. Um, he's just, you know, got an intelligence about him. And a, a, there's the game, um, there, there's a connection with, with Andre, uh, with the guys when he's out there. And we needed that connection. Played played really well when he was out there and helped spark that run. We saw Wiggins battling with Landale and and then like the spear and the full court press. Do you think that kind of got some juices uh, going for him because he looked to be rusty since he's got it back? Yeah, but that was good defense. Yeah, he Wiggs was really rusty the other night um, and in the first half and um, and I just think the um, you know the 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 level of ball pressure and intensity in the second half, especially in, you know, late third and, and or uh, I guess fourth quarter it was. Um, that's who we need him to be. And, um, you know, that's who he was in the playoffs last year. And 
coming off this long layoff, he, he hasn't looked right until that fourth quarter. And uh, so I actually told the coaches, um, I think this could be a good thing for us, honestly. Um, you, you need to get a wake-up call. Um, you need to be reminded how hard it is to win. And you need to um, understand the level of commitment to each other, to the game that it takes to, to win a title. Our, our, our vets know that. Um, our, our young guys are still learning all that. But hopefully this is the, uh, the jolt that we need to, to get ourselves. The season's been full of stops and starts. And Steve, do you feel like the double overtime game had any effect on your guys' energy levels the past couple of games? No. No. Did, did you see the Iguodala pl the ejection play? Is it just he threw it out? Did you see any of that? I didn't see yeah. it. And was yeah. it explained to you? No. No. I didn't get an explanation. Uh, Carl Lane called it, and he was on the other side of the floor. and, and to why he called it, so oh, I guess I'll find out tomorrow. When it comes to, you were just talking about, I guess, with the younger guys, you know, there aren't any, sorry, there aren't any easy games. There, There's no, you guys have been start and stop at the same time, though, all season long. Was Do you think there was any maybe <clears throat> assumption or just kind of expectations from less experienced guys that, okay, yeah, Steph's back, okay, yeah, Andrew's back, we're getting right away and, and kind of just take take the energy I don't I don't know that uh you know that was the case I mean we didn't play young guys tonight you know our young guys are are either hurt um you know Moses didn't didn't get on the floor PBJ didn't get on the floor James and JK are are injured so we played our vets tonight um to me this was uh as I said you know with my my Letting our guard down because uh, Phoenix had so many guys out, and then uh, being out of whack, out of rhythm because of the absences and the, um, you know, the guys trying to find their footing and and. Uh, but as I said, the only way you can get through that is to compete, and we didn't start competing until it was too late. Thank you.